All right, welcome to a little demo on how to use Tumblr. Uh, go to tumblr.com. It's as simple as that. You'll see this kind of login screen looking thing in the middle. Actually, that is uh, for signing up for a new Tumblr blog, which is fine, and you should do that. But it's not what we need to do for social and end. So you want to go under login, which is, uh, you know, they keep moving it around on Tumblr. But as I'm looking at it right now, it's in the bottom left corner of the screen. And from there, you'll get the email and password uh, screen, which you can get uh, the information from on Canvas. All right, once you log into Tumblr, you're going to come to this screen right here, which is the dashboard. The dashboard is the back end of Tumblr. It allows you to see what other people are posting, which makes this kind of a social blog, which is why we're using it in this class. Uh, but you can, you can see other blogs that we follow and the content that they have. And you could also, from here, create our blog posts. And so you could use it by clicking on text. And from there, it's kind of like any other blogging software where you add a headline. You could put content in that uh, window right there, including photos, HTML, video, or just about anything else. And then you would just hit publish when you're ready to go. Of course, what I want you to do is to actually add some keywords to this too. And this is important. Put some thought into the keywords you put in there because that's what people use to find new content. Now you could also do a photo, but you can do a photo within the text version as well. But when you do a photo version, it doesn't give you the chance to put a headline on there. So for our purposes, it's not quite as useful, although it does display the photos in a very nice way. So if you have just a really great photo and you just want a photo and a caption, you can give that a try. Uh, the quote is not as useful for us. I think this is a very visual medium. And so unless the quote is amazing, I would pretty much avoid that. I wouldn't use the link chat, maybe use audio or video, but for the most part, I think most of what you're gonna be doing is through either text or photo. And if you look up to the uh, top right side of your um, dashboard, you'll see that there, it shows how many posts uh, we have, shows how many followers we have. It gives us the activity, uh, which when you click on that, it, it gives you some uh, actual analytics behind uh, how we're doing, how many followers we have, how many notes we've been getting from people. And notes are basically like likes and comments on Facebook, for example. It's similar to that. Uh, you can also see any drafts that we have that we haven't published yet and uh, that kind of thing. Now, also on the top right under uh, Social NN, when you click on that little arrow, you'll see the other blogs that are attached to Social NN, including sports and entertainment. If you are working a sports shift, let's say, you need to make sure that you're posting in the right place. So you want to click there before you post and then post things from there. Uh, it's, it's a little complicated. And so just if you make a mistake, you could always delete a post and then go back. But just make sure you're posting them in the right place. Now you'll see the uh, HTML link right underneath uh, the blog name at the top right. When you click on that, it shows what the public sees. So you come, come out of the dashboard when you do that. Uh, you can always get back to the dashboard with the little uh, icon at the top right. Uh, you could also follow other Tumblr blogs from that area at the top right as well. So when you see a good blog you uh, like, you can follow them right there. Okay, so a lot of your shift uh, when you're working Tumblr can be uh, spent looking for good content and finding good blogs to follow. And so the search bar up in the top that says Tumblr and web, you could type in a hashtag right there. So you might want to search for, I don't know, hashtag Austin or hashtag UT or Texas or something like that. And try to find good content out there to follow for us so that that content shows up in our dashboard. So speaking of our dashboard, uh, what you can do when you see good content come through our stream there. So we've been following good blogs. Hopefully good content will come through. You can, uh, from right from there at the bottom, you can reblog it. And reblogging is very similar to uh, retweeting or sharing something on Facebook. Now, it gives you a little prompt to actually type something in. I strongly suggest trying to add some kind of content to this. So try to put uh, some kind of new spin to it, add a link to something uh, related to it, uh, somehow put some analysis on there. Uh, and then you could actually add your own tags as well. And when you hit reblog, it will take their blog post with our comments and post it on our own blog. You can also favorite posts. So the little heart is just kind of like liking things. And when you do that, it uh, they see that. You know, they get the note that you did that. So that's interaction. And interaction's tough on Tumblr. I understand that I'm asking for interaction out of everything we do. So just do your best. I think reblogging and uh, uh, favoriting things is definitely a way to go uh, as far as trying to get some interaction. And so, I, you know, I suggest when you're working your Tumblr post is to spend some time reblogging posts that you see they're really good and try to spend some time creating your own posts as well by using that text option or the photo option. 
Uh, we just want our blog to be very, very visual. So look for really great photos out there and share them. And so one last thing here, uh, under where it shows our account, you see find blogs. Uh, it also has recommended blogs. Um, so you know, look through those, but when you click on find blogs, it actually gives you uh, some categories uh, from artists down to culture and uh, beauty, book deals. Uh, there's a little bit of everything in there. And so, you know, explore around. I really want you to see what content is out there. I know Tumblr is like famous for having cat gifs and, or gifs, however you want to pronounce it. But uh, I think there's more to it than that. And so there is good content out there. You just need to find it. A lot of news organizations do have a Tumblr. Uh, some use it for behind the scenes looks at uh, what they're doing in the newsroom. And others use it for either a photo blog or just kind of interesting things they're running across that they think works for a Tumblr audience.